What is going on, everybody? Is Treep from Treep Talks here? And of course, I got the legendary special guest on camera, Larry Fitzgerald, the legend. How are you doing, bud? I'm doing fucking wonderful. <laughs> it's good to it's good to have you yeah, on the dude. channel. Um, you guys need to start getting used to seeing this face and hearing this voice because Bryce is going to be fucking a weekly bud. picks, dude. No, you're going to be on the podcast. I'm three three times this week. I know you're going to be on the three channel times. because you got you got this video. Yeah, crew pilot, and then you got the crew cast, yeah. and you got the weekly picks. Yeah, and then we got the weekly picks. So oh. like during the season, you're just going to be on here two times a week, though. Yeah. So you better be getting used to seeing this face. He is. Have you opened up your YouTube channel yet? No. Well, he hasn't opened up his YouTube channel. But I don't have. I haven't got the supplies for it. I'm kind of lazy. He'll be he'll be getting equipped, but yeah. the link to his channel will be in the description down below. But today, I wanted to preview the Jacksonville Jaguars regular season. Um, I will be dropping a preview for the Jags game either on Thursday or Friday. I totally forgot how busy this week was until Fitz came in, and mm -hmm. so it's like we're about to do the picks podcast, and I was like, well, shit, and I yeah, still got to do a crew, and I still yeah. got to do a crew cast, and I still got to. Do uh, the just Jags the Chiefs other, preview, yeah. you know? Just, and, you know, and I got work too. I mean, yeah. just everything on top of everything. But we are gonna get you that amazing content. Anyway, today I thought a good idea would be that I would preview the Jaguar season, go through every game. We've done this once before, but we're gonna have a little bit of a debate. We're gonna have two perspectives. We're gonna have a Jags fan and a non-Jags fan. So me, I'm an optimist. I really think the Jags are going to do good this year. And it's going to be, it might be a little refreshing having a bit of a realist in the room to preview the Jaguars season. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Jacksonville Jaguars 2019 regular season preview from a fan's perspective and a non-fan's perspective. Now I have no idea how much Jacksonville Jaguar preseason you watched. How much? I didn't now, watch any, really, yeah. yeah. So, um... I did watch Josh Allen. Okay, I did see some Josh Allen highlights. Mm -hmm. That kid was balling around. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's going to be so, interesting this year. That's kind of a big reason. Yeah. The Jaguar defense is why I think... I don't know. I wonder... How would you feel as a non-fan if the Jags had the same preseason, right? With Josh Allen dominating. And their defense, you know, it looks pretty solid. Yeah. But Blake Bortles was still the quarterback. How How different would this be? Would your uh, takes be? Would it be completely different, semi-different, or not different at all? I feel like if Blake was at the helm, it would be different. Oh, it would be super different. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like you guys would be... I just, like, I mean, I know we had to do it. Your but... defense is good, but, like, no. Yeah. Portals just can't do that. He ain't a franchise quarter. It's like Ryan Tannehill, but you didn't give Ryan Tannehill as many years. Yep, we didn't. Well, we gave Bortles probably just about as many years as Tannehill. I don't know. I feel like Tannehill got like five or six. Bortles man. got five. Oh well, okay. Yeah, so it's, the same, it's the same. But that's what I'm saying. Yeah. It's like a Tannehill. You gave him a chance, and you're like, nah. Well, as a non-fan, how how much does Nick Foles, in your opinion, impact this offense? I think he's better than Bortles. I think he can throw good deep balls. I think he's got good playmaking. I think what's the key? In this is your matchups with your defense, though. Mm -hmm. I think you guys won't have to score much. I and that's what I'm saying. It's like Bortles was incompetent and he couldn't put points on the board at all. Nick, Nick Foles will put points on the board for you. He just you. doesn't have to score as much. And that's what I'm saying too. If we get and if Nick Foles gets good field position, I feel like it's automatic. Yeah. Yeah. You know that's that's just like the kind of guy he is. Like I've been saying for years during when we had Blake, I was like, just give us Alex Smith, man. I was like, just let Alex Smith run wild in the Jaguar offense, brother. Oh, yeah. But anyway, so we got the week one game against the Kansas City Chiefs. Now it's going to be a tough week one matchup. It's going to be insane. It's going to probably be the league's best offense going up against the league's best defense. And I'm going to preview this game a little bit more on Friday. So you got to stay tuned for that whole preview. But as far as this game goes, and I will say this in the preview... I like the Jags in this game. I don't think we have as much drama going on. I feel like Kansas City has a little bit of one expectations. I think there's a lot of pressure for them to go out and perform and do just as good as they did last year. And I still think I still I like the locker room vibe the Jags have more than Kansas City. That might just be me, but I'm going to take the Jags over Kansas City week 1 shocker. I think the defense matches up really well with the offense. Yes, Kansas City has a lot of speed everywhere. Don't get me wrong. Like, Tyreek Hill's fast. But last year when Jalen was on Tyreek Hill, Tyreek Hill had three catches for 22 yards. So, Jalen Ramsey did his job. 
against Tyreek Hill. And Miles Jack is the type of linebacker, just got paid, can run with anybody. He can run with your best tight end. He can run with your slot receiver. He's fast. He has that potential. He's just he's good, man. Like he he didn't get paid that much money for no reason. So I'm gonna be taking the Jags over the Chiefs week one. Maybe a bold take and maybe me just being really excited for week one. But I'm gonna say the Jags start the season off one though. What are you thinking as a non fan? I'm gonna say as a non fan, I think this will be a good game, but I don't think that the Jags win. I mean then that's that's fine. It's just because I feel like it comes down to this. I feel like more that Miles Jack's going to be patrolling the middle of the field. He's kind of the middle linebacker. That's what they do. Yeah. I think the biggest matchups here is going to be Josh Allen v. Travis Kelsey and Ramsey v. Kelsey's not going to be covering, though. Josh Allen's a down. Josh Allen's a down edge rusher. He can play a little bit of the linebacker. I heard he's gonna be doing some, some three, some three four shit. Yeah, there might be. And then that's that's what people are. And that's what. And, and that's, that's what people are saying. You yeah, know? that's what they're saying. We don't really yeah. know yet. Well, well, like, and I mean, we showed it. We showed it. Like, yeah. like Josh Allen can go back, but I don't think that that's like. But that's, a matchup. You know what I mean? I would say Ronnie Harrison and Travis Kelsey are going to be more of the matchup. Yeah, and I think that's one that you would lose. Well, I, yeah. Travis but, Kelsey has been a dominant tight end for the past three years. He's been the number one fantasy tight end. He's been putting up the numbers. He's the top guy. See, but I think the biggest matchup in this game is going to be the Kansas City Chiefs offensive line against our defensive line. Because if we can get in Mahomes' face within three seconds and he doesn't have time to throw the ball, you know Tyreek's going to be blanketed because Jalen will do his job. AJ will blanket Sammy Watkins. And Ronnie Harrison, literally Ronnie Harrison, Josh Allen, Miles Jack, whoever it is, Quincy Williams, whoever it is that's covering Travis Kelsey has to just cover them for as long as it takes that front four to get there. And the thing is, too, is just imagine this. This is, this is going to be a defensive line package coming out for the Jacksonville Jaguars in 2019 with Calais Campbell in a three technique, Marcel Darius playing nose tackle, Josh Allen, and Yannick Ngakwe. Yeah. Like, that is a front four that yeah. they will see in that game, and then and they're going to be switching it up because, like we said earlier, like they're going to be running a 3-4. You know, they're going to be doing that type of shit. So. And here's my thing. Is I, I think it'll be a good game, is what I said, but I think Mahomes is going to pull it off, and I think there's going to be, like, one defensive play. That's gonna that's gonna screw you. Yeah, you think? And I think it's gonna be like the new Kansas City Chief, like Tyron Matthews, gonna. No, oh, Tyron high, Matthews. Ball Shady high, McCoy something. is gonna dominate on offense. No, I don't, <laughs> I'm think, just I don't think he's gonna do anything. I don't. I think. I think, I think. I think this is more of the washed up end of, of his career. career. All right, so Bryce has us going. Zero and one start season. I got a one and zero start. Week number two at Houston against the Texans. Now, as a fan, for me, this might be like, if we beat Kansas City, I want to win this game so fucking bad, but I don't think we're going to. I think, that, like, we'll split with Houston. I think this year we will split with Houston. I think that's the battle. I know Lamar Miller got hurt, but the, the Texans are still good. Like, they still have pieces to be good, like I know they just they just traded away Jadavion Clowney, and they but, you, you know they got Laramie Tunsil. Yeah. yeah, they got Laramie Tunsil. And you that's know, that's big time for Watson. I, that's big time for Watson, but I don't know if it's big time against this front four. Well, I know, but that still is something good because of how many times he's been sacked last year. Yeah, just the hit, hit, the amount of sacks are going to go down this year. Yeah, and for Houston, just that alone is better for Watson. Yeah, but uh, as far as this game goes, I think this is going to be kind of one of those. One of those growing pain games. Like we're gonna be, we're gonna sit down, we're gonna watch it, and it's gonna be like Houston's gonna be us like twenty-one to ten, and it's gonna be like one of those games that you just watch and you like watch our offense go, and you're like, fuck. I hope our offense isn't gonna be like this all year, and you know, hopefully by the time they they uh, get deeper in the season, they figure it out. But I think we lose Houston week two. What do you think? Um, I think that overall that. I think Duke Johnson's going to be something. I, I think, think he will too in I Houston. I think finally I too. that he'll get the chance that he deserves. And I do think that he'll thrive. He's a good receiving back. He's a good rusher. And the Jags do have, if they struggle on anything on defense, it's rush defense. And, that, so. and, and that's the thing, too, there. And with Tunzel being there, like, that guy is a premier. There's there, The reason why two first rounds and a second go up is because of how premier that player is. Yeah, it was going to be for Clowney, is what I originally heard, but he said no to the Dolphins. He didn't want to play there. Yeah. So, I mean, what he, what can you do? You still get two first round picks for the premier lineman, and I think 
that's going to help the run game against you guys. And I do think that they're just going to sneak this one. I don't think yeah. they're going. I don't think it's going to be like they're going to blow you out. But yeah. I think I think it'll be like a sneak it by three, like 24-21. And I think they're going to. It's you're going to start zero and two. Yeah. Ah, that's yeah. rough. Everybody yeah. say hashtag fuck fits in the comment section. Week number three. Thursday night football fits at Jacksonville, Tennessee at Jacksonville. If there was a god freaking time, I don't want this video to be demonetized. That we need to end this losing streak against Tennessee. It's going to be Thursday night, week number three at Jacksonville. Defense steps up. Nick Foles plays well. Fournette plays well. I think we've. We frick around, and this might be one of those games, man. This might be this might be when we start going on that tear, you know. Whether that be we start the season two and one, whether we start that season one and two, whether we start that season, you know, zero oh and three. Well, it's not going to be zero oh and three because we'll beat Tennessee. Yeah. But I think it's going to be like a thirty-five ten game. Jags end the losing streak, end the mockery. Jags beat the Tennessee Titans week three. I think that you guys beat the Titans here. Yeah, there I you really go. do. I just the Jags. Defensive fronts too much for their own line. I know they got Lawan, but that's like literally. He won't be playing because he's suspended, he's for, suspended week four. for week four. So, and so it's week toast. three. Yeah, it's game over. Yeah, it's GG. Mariota, yeah. Ryan Tannehill, don't matter. Well, you're probably going to hurt one of them, so you'll probably see <laughs> both of them. Yeah. But, uh, no, as long as Gabbard I'm, doesn't play. I really think that this Jags team is, they got this one in the bag. I mean, this team's, the, the receivers that Jalen and AJ have to cover are Below sweep. average. Yeah, sweep. The O-line versus D-line, yeah. sweep. Yep, linebackers against Delaney Walker. Delaney Walker has been good in the past. He's coming off too many injuries. He's old. Yeah, he's getting your up there. Tight, your linebackers oh. against their tight. Had to cut that one out because of keystone difficulties, as you were saying. Yeah, and so <laughs> I think this Jags offense is just, I think they got what it takes. Leonard Fournette against their front is going to be fine. I really don't see the threat. You know what I'm saying? I really don't see the threat from them. They're, you guys, one and two. Clean. You, that you, sucks. I know. But one Chiefs, and two realistic. The Chiefs are <coughs> good, and the Texans <coughs> did. I think they improved their team. Because <coughs> I, You know, Clowney's a good pass rusher, and you can never have too many pass rushers. But he's not great. He's never put up over 10 sacks, I feel like. <coughs> has he not? And he might. Maybe he, maybe he has once, but I highly doubt it. Yeah. But one He's and not two, one of those guys. <coughs> one and two, super realistic. Yeah, so, you know that's fair. I'm just like I said, optimistic Jags. Yeah. Fan. So I have the Jags at two and one heading into week four. You got them at one and two. We're gonna go to Denver, week number four, and I think this one's easy. I think this one's a dub. The Jags always have really good success against Joe Flacco. Yeah. Last time we played Flacco, he went like. 7 for 12 for 22 yards and 4 picks. And I just don't see these receivers, again, being able to step up. Yeah, Cortland Sutton. Noah Fant. I would Sanders. like to see what Noah Fant does against your linebackers, but I really don't think it's going to be a thing. No. And I don't think Flacco can be effective with your front four. You guys are going to be blitzing. It's going to be tough to tough to stop you guys. So, that one was a quick wrap. I got 3-1. and one. You got 2-2. Two 2-2, and two two. And two, yeah. And then we go to Carolina. This game might be different when we talk about it during when it actually is happening because Cam Newton might not be playing because we don't know how serious he's actually injured and how serious. And I don't, call me crazy, man, but I think we could beat Carolina. I think you guys are going to beat Carolina. I think we could beat Carolina. I think it's going to be, okay, I think it's going to be a barn burner. I don't, I just, it's another one of those things where it's like, Who's their wide receiver that's going to get open on Jalen or AJ? I don't think there is one. And who's and who's the running back? Oh, McCaffrey. McCaffrey oh, dude, that's yeah. going to be the bit. Oh, yeah. dude, McCaffrey's the. I can't believe I forgot McCaffrey. I'm so and Greg Olson has been like, I know he's been hurt, yeah. but what did he come back? He, <laughs> and play strong. I mean, Olson and Cam had a connection for a long time before he got hurt these past few years. That's definitely doable, man. It's like, definitely. It's going to be a good game. That's what I think. And I think you guys are going to be in like 28-27. Right? It's going to be close. Be a barn burger. It's going to be close. But I think you come out and win. It depends because it's it's a, it's going to be a defensive matchup. I don't I think, think they'll score be, that many points. I, I think, think it'll the, be like I think Ramsey will come down with the interception. 
Yeah, dude. I don't. Ramsey never gets that many picks because no one ever tests him. No, but he's <laughs> gonna have to. Yeah, and then who can you test? You can't test anybody. This next game, New Orleans at Jacksonville. I fucking love the New Orleans Saints, so I will have no problem. And this, man, like honestly, if this, if we start off hot, like the game against Kansas City is gonna be fucking dope, freaking yeah. dope, because. We're going to be fucking, freaking, God, I suck. We're going to be playing the, <laughs> the Kansas City Chiefs offense and our defense. That's going to be fun. And Drew Brees has never played this defense before. Yeah. But here's my thing. I think this team, I think this team is too good. Too much firepower. Too much stars. Even and There's even a sleeper star in there. They have Michael Thomas, you know. They have, you know... Alvin Kamara, those guys. Yeah. And they even brought in Eric. I, I really like their center that they picked up for the draft that they drafted this year, Eric McCoy. Yeah. I've always liked him. I, I wanted to draft him because as a Cardinals fan, of course you're scouting offensive linemen because we have holes everywhere. Exactly. Yeah. So, but no, I just think, like, this Saints team's too put together. And I think Jared Cook is going to be a – Mismatch. This is going to be good. And Ted Ginn is a speed burner, too, that sleeps under all the depth that's there because they have Trey Clon Smith and a bunch of different people there. So, Just as a person that really fucks with Drew Brees and really fucks with the Saints, I'm excited to watch this game. I don't even care if we get blown out. I just love I like watching the Saints play football. I think you – here's the thing. I think this is where you do get blown out. I hope not. But I think you'll rebound. I, think I mean, you got to right. think, too, Dallas – we had a lot of people down, but they put, yeah. like, 50 up on us. Yeah. They were just playing really good football against what you were trying to run against them. So, I got the Jags at a 4-2 start. 3-3. and 3-3. Three three. Three and three and three. What are we going to be doing with the next part? Being the commissioner of a fantasy football league is rough. I've I've had to stop recording this for, for two things. For people just messaging him and whatever else. All right. So we're going to just cap off this video. We got the Jags and the Bengals. AJ Green versus Jalen Ramsey. Round two. Jags take the dub. Beat I, don't, I don't even know if AJ Green will be back. Oh, yeah, I forgot he's down. He's, hurt, he's down, dude. I and forgot. Tyler Boyd ain't nothing, dude. No. He ain't stepping up to be a number one. This Cincinnati offense is going to, they're going to be picking for either one, two, or three. Exactly. Top three pick. Uh, and I think the Jags take an easy one here. Just spank them. So I got the Jags. I'm getting off. I'm getting happy. It must be close to football season. I got the Jags at five and two to start the season. I'm four and three. Five and We're two, there. four and three. And then we got the New York Jets traveling to Jacksonville. I think the Jags win that one easy as well. I think. I think there's no reason we shouldn't be good. I mean, Le'Veon Bell. Every time we play him, we bottle him up. Like, no problem. Theoretically, you know what I mean. Six uh, and two. I think you're gonna have some tough times on your offense in this one. Really? I think Quinton Williams is a menace to be dealt with. Oh yeah, I hope he. And I they got C.J. Mosley in the middle now, and they have good their safety man out there. Yeah, but I mean, how are the how's their offense gonna score? Their offense is going to score by Le'Veon. It's good. Le'Veon how, gets bottled up every time we I'm, play him. You're going to have. They're going to have to figure out something. Then I don't think they're gonna. And Robbie Anderson's going to have to step up. But I really <laughs> I don't, don't think, think this team can get past you. It'll be like 27-13. You guys, you, you'll get. You'll beat them. Six and two, and then Houston comes to Jacksonville, and this is a big fucking game because if we lose to the Texans, I'm going to. Oh, Hell, that's going to be. Pissed. I think this is when the Jags come around. They beat Houston. It'll be a clean game. Quick, hopefully, easy victory. 7-2. And, and I think they're going to, you know, 1-1. One one, you know, each team is going to win one. So, the Texans won one earlier. The Jags are winning one this, on this one. It's, it's what's going to happen. And then we play the Colts for the first time really late in the season. And I think the Colts don't have it. By the t- without luck, they ain't got it no more. Dude, by the time by the time this game happens, the Colts will be depleted. Yeah, so, I don't think they got it anymore. Without luck, 
Marlon Mack we can get bodied up. All they have to do is blitz. I don't think people are worried about T.Y. Hilton. Yeah. It's just T.Y. Yeah, exactly. Eric Ebron's not going to be a threat <coughs> because I don't think Jacoby's going to have enough time. They're just going to blitz the hell out of him. Oh, yeah, that's what they did last time and, they played him. Sacked him ten times last time he played Jacoby. Yeah, and I just don't see the Colts beating the Jags this year. No. That's it. I think you're sweeping them. Next up, we got the Jags at Tennessee. That's a fucking loss. That's I, a trap. That's, yeah. a, that's a trap. Yeah, that's agree. it. That's it. That's just how that and one's And it's going to be like Delaney Walker's going to tear your ass up. Yeah. 180 yards. Something stupid. Yeah, touchdown. Like some old shit, you know what I mean? Some some of the stuff that would just happen, you know? Exactly. Something, something like that would just go down. I agree with and, that. And Derrick Henry, you know, of course, does... We'll do something. Oh, yeah. No, Derrick Henry's going to be the one that does terrible Oh, stuff. yeah. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. And then we have Tampa Bay at Jacksonville, and I think we lose that one, too. I don't. Dude, Mike Evans and Jalen Ramsey is going to be a good matchup. That's going to be a good matchup, but I don't think... I don't... Behind... <laughs> I think we'd be. I think uh, Jameis is going to struggle. And I really and like I know (laughs) that people think they got good tight ends down there, but Brucey and when he was in Arizona, he never really used tight ends. Tight ends. It was more of just a blocker and then kind of catch sometimes. So I really don't expect them to be a big threat for anybody. Maybe in the red zone, but that's it. And I don't. I think you guys beat them. I think you guys have it matched up. I think your offense is going to be stellar. Their defensive line is good. JPP will be back probably around there. That's then. going to be the matchup. And he's going to be trenches. good. And Vita Vea, he needs to step up. And Sue's in the middle now there, too. Yeah. They even got some rookie linebackers and stuff. Bruce is building himself a team, and he always brings back crappy quarterbacks to good. I think Tampa Bay will have a decent season this next year. I don't think it'll be... Great, great. But then I think after that, I think Percy's going to get over the hump. Jameis Winston rolling. So I'll, I'll take it back and say we win that one. We go 8-3. and three. And I'm 7-4. and 7-4. Seven seven Next up, we got the Chargers coming to Jacksonville. <laughs> and it, even with Eckler, I think we I think we end up losing that one. I think you lose to the Chargers. We always fucking, we always choke against the, against the Chargers. Uh, I really do like these receivers against your matchups. Yeah. I had some, for some reason, like Keenan Allen and Mike Williams. I, I believe in Mike Williams. That's when, a good matchup. When that kid matchup. was coming in, I kind of, his kind of receiver that I looked at and I was like, I think he'll be pretty good. Mm. And then the first year he had like 10 touchdowns. And, you know, he didn't have a lot of yards, but he still had a lot of touchdowns. And I do think this kid will be good. Hunter Henry's coming back from injury. He'll he'll be big time. And uh, this offense is going to be good. And depending on... When is this? This is at the end of the year? Yeah. Depending on this, from what I heard from Jamin, Melvin Gordon, apparently because of his contract, will have to play at least six games this season to have a, to have, oh, yeah. have the season count towards an accumulated year. Of hmm. contracts, so, so he'll have to be back by then. So hmm. it'll be Melvin too, and I think the Chargers got too much for you. Yeah, we always struggle. One. Oakland Raiders. I think that's a win. I'm hoping that does sound like a Jaguar trap game, though. But I do think we lose. I think we lose the next week at Atlanta. I think the Raiders... Julio and Jalen, man. We haven't seen that I yet think... either. That's going to be fucking awesome. Julio and Jalen, man. Look at all these receiver matchups for just for the Jags schedule. This is why, <laughs> even if you're not a Jags fan, you might want to watch this. <laughs> right. You got Jalen versus Mike Evans. Jalen versus Keenan, Keenan Allen. Allen. Jalen versus Antonio <laughs> Brown. And then Jalen versus Julio Jones. And then who do you got... Oh, then the tight. So, so you know, but that's a that's a that's a good that's fucking a stretch. stretch, dude. Because then you got T. Y. Hilton at the end of yeah. the season too. So that's one, two, three, four, five straight elite. So wait, that's 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 where Jalen Ramsey's gonna let's earn go his back money. Through this here, I almost guarantee. What if that's the reason? What if they're like they looked at the schedule, right? They're like Jalen wants his contract. Let's see what we got. Let's see. Yeah, because he let's see. He let's faces Tyreek Hill. Yep. DeAndre Hopkins twice. Yep. T.Y. twice. T.Y. twice. Michael Thomas. Emmanuel Sanders. A.J. Green, maybe. Yeah, maybe. T.Y. Hilton. 
Mike Evans, Keenan Allen, A. B. Julio Jones, T. Y. Hilton. Yeah, this this would be the contract prover. This, this, this that is wow. Did we just crack? I think we that just might cr- have been cracking the Jags we, code there. I think wow. But here we go. We just so, figured out Dave, dude, and that's such a Dave Codwell, Tom Coughlin thing to do. I'm gonna post that in the Jags group, yeah. bro. So we that's need, so that's on point. We need to go back through this. So Trim thinks he's gonna snag a, a, a win from the Chiefs week one. Yeah. I think we're they're losing. Then you're going to lose to the Texans week two for me. You think you guys win. Yeah. Then I think you pull back the dub against the Titans. You're out of fucking preseason, you silly. And then pull the, back the Titans against... Yeah, so I got back. a one, one, two and one, three and one start. Yeah, and then I think Four you guys and one. beat Denver. So I'm at two and two. Three and three. Oh, say, okay, so you're three and three there. Four and two, five and two, six and two, seven and two, eight and two, eight and three, nine and three, nine and four. The Chargers nine and four, Raiders ten and four. So eight and four. Ten and four with the Raiders. And then nine and four. Okay. Ten and, and five and with the five. Falcons. Nine. We're going eleven and five this year. We are winning. I'm gonna go through this. I'm getting confused for some reason. I don't know why. Bryce can't do math. I'm yeah. I'm struggling today. So three and three, four and three, five and three, six and three, seven and three, seven and four, eight and four, eight and five, eight and six. I think you guys lose to the Raiders. That is a Jaguar drop game. That's what I was trying to say. Yeah. If there was one. And here's my thing. Here's my bold prediction of the year, too. I think the Raiders are a playoff team this year. I think they're going to sneak in nah. with John Gruden. I do. I don't know why. I think he's got it. He's got Vontez on the defense. It's, they're going to be playing dirty. Well, That's what Raiders like. And I think they're going to sneak one from the Jags there. So then that would be, you know. I mean, that puts you at 8-6 and six for the season with two more games, and I think you can beat the next opponent. Yeah, the Yeah. Yeah. What do you think? You think you I got us at, I got us at 11-5 and five with losses to the Chargers, Titans once, Texans once, Saints, and Texans. I have losses to the Chiefs, the Texans, the Titans... The Saints. And then I think the Chargers and the Raiders be you. The AFC West, man. That's but I think at 10 and 6, I think the Jags sneak in the playoffs. I think you're a wild card. But I think somebody you wins think Houston, the division. You think Houston I think, wins? I think Houston will go either 11 and 5 or 12 and 4. <sighs> Oof. Yeah. I'm taking the Jags at just 11 because, and 5, just because winning the AFC South with no other AFC South team even touching the playoffs. Wow. Not even. <sighs> the Texans will go 8 and 8 at best. I think they're going to go to the playoffs just because of the pure fact that they don't have as bad a luck as you guys do when facing the Titans and whatnot. That, so, fair I enough. Mean, they win games against the division opponents. But then again, Houston's also like, I think didn't, they've lost like. Fucking like four, five, six straight games in the Colts or something like that. Yeah, but that'll probably end too this year because Jacoby's not. Jacoby's not holding down. I got eleven wins. Bryce got ten ten. wins. The big thing is, is the Jacksonville Jaguars from both of our perspectives are playing off off bound. And that was the Jaguars season preview from a fan's perspective and a non-fan's perspective. What'd you guys think? Leave your comments down below. Don't forget to check the links down below as well. You can like me on Facebook at Troop Talks. Follow me on Twitter at Troop Talks. Follow me on Instagram at Trey Vaughn Pixley. Also, if you haven't yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Click the bell icon so you get notified every single time I drop a new video. I drop new content on this channel six days a week. Ain't nobody at work for me. It's just straight facts. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And as always, you guys have a great rest of your day.